In the following video, we're going to examine how to write equations of vertical parabolas into standard form. Now remember the standard form for a vertical parabola is y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. The main concept we're going to have to use to write an equation in standard form is to complete the square. Now this concept of completing the square was covered way back in chapter 5. So we're going to use these three examples as a refresher and review in this concept. And then once we get the equation, the parabola, in standard form, we will use that to identify the coordinate of the vertex, the focus, the length of the lattice, and the equation of the directrix. So let's start with example one. When you are completing the square, you want to focus on your quadratic and linear terms. So an easy way of doing that is to isolate them by moving your constant to the other side. And so I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. That's going to leave me with y minus 20 equals x squared minus 12x. I have a leading coefficient of 1, so I can complete the square here. So what I do is I insert my placeholders for when I complete the square to put the values in to keep the equation balanced. To complete the square, remember what you do is take half of your linear term. So I'm going to take half of negative 12, which is negative 6, and then square that. So negative 6 squared is a positive 36. So you take half your b term, half your linear term, and square. So 36 is what I add to the right side to give me a perfect square trinomial. And to keep the equation balanced, I have to make sure I put the exact same value on the other side. And now we simplify. Negative 20 plus 36 is a positive 16. So y plus 16 equals... Now, we created a perfect square trinomial, so let's write it as a perfect square. We squared a negative 6, so that's what goes inside of our parentheses. So y plus 16 equals the quantity x minus 6 squared. And then I would solve for y to get in standard form, so I would subtract 16 from both sides. So my standard form equation is y equals the quantity x minus 6 squared minus 16. There's my standard form. And now I can use that to find the coordinate of the vertex, the focus, the length of the lattice, and the equation of the directrix. To do that, what we need to do first is identify our a, our h, and our k values. A is the coefficient, the leading coefficient, which here would be 1. h would be 6. And k would be negative 16. So now that I know those values, I can go through and find all of my parts. The formula for the vertex, it's represented by the coordinate h, k. So that's easy. Once you identify h is 6 and k is negative 16, you know your vertex is located at the coordinate 6, negative 16. Now, I'm going to do the focus and the directrix next, and I'm going to do them together, and I'm going to explain it in this part. When you are identifying the focus the directrix, kind of imagine what the graph would look like. This is a parabola. Since A is positive, it's opening upwards. So I have a parabola opening upwards. You know, I have my vertex. But I also have a focus and a directrix. And the focus would be located inside the parabola. And the directrix would be located underneath the parabola. The distance, and this is something you should really focus on memorizing. The distance from the vertex of the focus is 1 over 4a units. It's the same thing. The distance from the vertex to the directrix is 1 over 4a units in the other direction. So if you're going up, we see we're adding 1 over 4a units. And if we're going down, we're subtracting 1 over 4a units from the coordinate of the vertex. So if I'm going up or down, I'm only affecting my y value, which means the coordinate of the focus will have the same horizontal value, the same h. It's just I'm taking my k 
and I'm adding 1 over 4a to it. And for the directrix, y equals, you're taking your k value, you're going down 1 over 4a units, so you're subtracting 1 over 4a from it. And those are the equations of your focus directrix. So focus on learning that the distance from the vertex to the focus and vertex to the directrix is 1 over 4a units. And by doing that, you can derive the formula every time. You can actually understand the formula every time when it comes to finding the focus and the directrix of a parabola. So now, if I take a look at both of them, 1 over 4a, 1 over 4a, I should probably find that value first. So I'm going to do that, 1 over 4a. So a is 1, so I have 1 over 4 times 1, which is 1 fourth. So the coordinate of the focus is 6, comma, negative 16 plus 1 fourth. Now I'm going to go ahead and use mixed fractions for this. I have 6, comma. If I added 1 fourth to negative 16, that's going to give me negative 15 and 3 fourths. For the directrix, y equals your k value. So y equals negative 16 minus 1 fourth. And that's going to give me y equals negative 16 and 1 fourth. The length of the lattice is represented by the formula, the absolute value of 1 over a. So I have the absolute value of 1 over 1, which is the absolute value of 1. So the lattice is 1 unit long. Now remember these formulas, h, k for your vertex, h comma k plus 1 over 4a for your focus, y equals k minus 1 over 4a for your directrix, and the absolute value of 1 over a for the length of lattice will be given to you on a formula sheet. However, it's extremely helpful to understand how the formulas are derived like we did for the focus directrix in order to make sure you're using them appropriately. So let's look at example two. Now this one's a little bit different. We see we have a leading coefficient for our quadratic term, but the first step is still the same isolate your quadratic and linear terms. So I would do that by moving my negative 10 to the other side by adding the 10. And what that is going to give me is y equals, y plus 10 equals negative 2x squared plus 8x. You cannot complete the square with a leading coefficient that is not 1. So what you do is you have to factor out that leading coefficient. So I have y plus 10 equals negative 2 times the quantity, and that would give me x squared and a minus 4x. And now I can focus inside this parentheses for completing the square. So let's put in our placeholders. So I have the y plus 10, insert my placeholder, equals negative 2 now times the x squared minus 4x, and insert the placeholder for completing the square. You take half of your linear term, so I'm going to take half of negative 4, which is negative 2, and then square it, which gives me a positive 4. So take half your b value, square it. So the 4 goes here because it gives me a perfect square trinomial. However, in order to figure out what goes in the other side, we have to keep the equation balanced. So I'm not really adding 4 on this right side because I factored out a negative 2. So if I were to distribute that in, I would see I'm really subtracting 8. So a minus 8 goes here. And so now we simplify. 10 minus 8 is 2, so I have y plus 2 equals negative 2 times the quantity. And I bring this down to a binomial. What did I square to get a positive 4? I squared a negative 2. So it's x minus 2 inside the parentheses. Then I solve for y by subtracting 2. So I have y equals negative 2 times the quantity x minus 2 squared minus 2. And there is my standard form for this vertical parabola. What I'm going to do next is identify my a, h, and k values. a is negative 2, h is 2, and k is negative 2. The equation for the vertex is the coordinate h, k. The focus would be h comma k plus 1 over 4a. 
the directrix is y equals k minus 1 over 4a. And the length of the lattice is absolute value of 1 over a. So now that we know our a, h, and k, we can go ahead and find all these values. My vertex then is the coordinate 2, negative 2. In order to find the focus in the directrix, I need to know the value of 1 over 4a. So I have 1 over 4 times negative 2, which gives me negative 1 8. So the focus is going to be located at the coordinate 2, comma, negative 2, minus 1 8. And if I simplify that, I'm going to get the coordinate 2, comma, negative 2, and 1 8 as a mixed fraction. For the directrix, it's going to be y equals negative 2. And you're subtracting a negative 1 8. So that means you're adding 1 8 for it. And so that's going to give me a mixed fraction y equals negative 1 and 7 8. The length of lattice is the absolute value of 1 over a. So I have the absolute value of 1 over negative 2. So the absolute value of negative 1 half is a positive 1 half. And so the lattice is 1 half units long. And so there we go. We have our four pieces of information from our vertical parallel equation written in standard form. We practice completing the square with a leading coefficient that is not 1 for it. So we have to remember the factoring and take that in consideration when keeping the equation balanced. So let's look at our last example for this. For number 3, we have y equals 4x squared minus 16x plus 5. So again, isolate your quadratic and your linear term. And I would do that by subtracting 5. And I'm going to combine some steps here. When I subtract 5, I'm going to get y minus 5. I know I'm going to need a placeholder for completing the square. And if I focus on my quadratic and linear term, I see I have a leading coefficient that's not 1. So I'm going to have to factor it out. So 4 times the quantity x squared minus 4x. And I'm going to need my placeholder. So I combine multiple steps into 1. Now you take half your linear term, so half of negative 4, which is negative 2 and square it gives me a positive 4. So I have a positive 4 here. However, we need to take in consideration that we factored out our leading coefficient to see what goes on the other side. So I'm not really adding 4, I'm really adding 16. So simplify, you get y plus 11 equals 4 times the quantity, and you are really putting in a minus 2 because that's what you squared. And then to solve for y, you would subtract 11. So y equals 4 times the quantity x minus 2 squared minus 11. And so there is our standard form. So you notice I wrote down less. I combined some more steps together. The same idea, identify your a, which is 4, your h, which is 2, and your k, which is negative 11. Coordinate for the vertex is h, k. And so that's going to give me the coordinate 2, negative 11. The focus is represented by the coordinate h, comma, k plus 1 over 4a. And the directrix is y equals k minus 1 over 4a. So I'm going to find 1 over 4a first. So a is 4, so I have 1 over 4 times 4, which is 1 16th. So my focus is going to be located at 2 comma negative 11 plus 1 16th, which if I simplify that, I'm going to get the coordinate 2 comma negative 10 and 15 16ths. The directrix is going to be at the coordinate y equals negative 11 minus 1 16th, which as a mixed fraction, y equals negative 11 and 1 16th. The length of the lattice, the formula says it is the absolute value of 1 over a. a is 4, so I have the absolute value of 1 over 4, which is 1 fourth. So the length of the lattice is 1 fourth units. And there we go. We have all of our pieces of information for this. Bottom line is you're going to have to complete the square. The hardest it's going to be is if you have to factor out the leading coefficient and keep it balanced.
all your formulas will be given to you. However, it's important you understand how they work so that way you can use them appropriately.